DHS Secretary Kirstjen Nielsen says Democrats criticizing the administration's zero-tolerance policy at the border are acting cowardly. Homeland Security Secretary Kirstjen Nielsen says Democrats bludgeoning the administration for its zero-tolerance policy at the border are acting cowardly and could change federal immigration law if they wanted to. Nielsen stood at the White House podium on Monday and argued that DHS was just doing its job in enforcing a Trump administration policy that has led more than 2,000 children to be separated from their parents or guardians in the last six weeks. If an American were to commit a crime, she told a room full of reporters, that person would go to jail and be separated from their family. Nielsen said, this is not a controversial idea. And yet, the administration was under siege was this week by Republicans and Democrats for categorizing every migrant who unlawfully enters the U.S. as a criminal and referring them for prosecution. That includes family units which has led to the forced separation of parents and guardians accompanying minors, including those seeking asylum. Parents who enter illegally are by definition criminals, she told reporters during an early evening briefing. Nielsen was in New Orleans delivering a speech on Monday when the White House decided to add a last-minute, on-camera news conference to its schedule to address the burgeoning crisis of family separation. Democrats had been hammering the administration for days charging DHS officials with everything from using children as bargaining chips to accusing them of child abuse. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said midday that she would address journalists first at 1.15 and then at 3.30. Moving the briefing back several times before the press office said that it would hold the news conference at 5 p.m. to make way for Nielsen. Sanders, who is the mother of three children herself was said by CNN to have asked that Nielsen do the briefing, instead. She slapped down the claim as she took questions after the DHS secretary, saying she only wanted journalists to have the best information. But she struggled under questioning from DailyMail.com and other journalists to explain why the president wouldn't just sign legislation dealing with only family separation and not the whole of his immigration agenda if the children are not purposefully being used as pawns to get an immigration deal. Sanders said Trump doesn't just want to see a band-aid put on this and is tired of administrations kicking the can down the road as it pertains to border security. He doesn't just want to tinker with the law he wants a total overhaul. She said that Trump wants to resolve other pressing issues, too, like violence at the hands of illegal immigrant gangs. Nielsen claimed early on Monday that the crisis of illegal immigrant children being housed separately from the adults who bring them across the border is, in some ways, a false crisis. She that children are not being abused in detention centers and that men and women are making fake asylum claims with children who aren't theirs. Nielsen said from the briefing room that we take allegations of mistreatment seriously and the administration will hold those accountable when and if this should occur. And she doubled down on a claim that smugglers were using children as a weapon in greater capacities. From October 2017 to this February, we have seen a staggering 315 percent increase in illegal aliens fraudulently using children to pose as family units to gain entry into the country she said earlier at the annual National Association of Sheriffs meeting in New Orleans. This must stop. All this does is put the children at risk. White House spokeswoman Mercedes Schlapp added in a Fox News Channel interview that one example of a fraudster is an MS-13 gang member walking in with a one-year-old. A Department of Homeland Security official told DailyMail.com on Monday that the 315 percent increase refers to a comparison between 46 such cases during the government's fiscal year 2017, and 191 cases during just the first five months of fiscal 2018, which ran from September 2017 to February 2018. Despite the low raw numbers, Extrapolating that more recent total to a 12-month period would produce a tenfold increase from 2017 to 2018. The DHS official said the Obama administration never tracked those numbers, so Trump administration agency workers had to comb through the cases and hand count those where entering children were determined not to be related to the adults they traveled with. Nielsen said Monday that we do not have the luxury of pretending that all individuals coming to this country as a family unit are in fact a family, 
Nielsen added. We have to do our job. We will not apologize for doing our job. And, she said, DHS is asking Congress to allow us to keep families together while they are detained. Democratic lawmakers and immigration advocates pilloried the Trump administration all weekend with complaints about evil and un-American treatment of children who are brought across the U.S. Mexico border and then separated from their parents. In past administrations, entering the country as a family unit was one way to guarantee illegal immigrants a favorable outcome since court decisions have rendered the Department of Health and Human Services unable to hold children in shelters for more than 20 days. The result was typically the release of children with the adults into the interior of the United States to await court hearings. Large numbers ultimately were no-shows. We've seen the release of over 200,000 family units into the United States since 2016, Schlapp said. I mean, that's incredibly problematic. You've had these smugglers who've been able to basically perfect the business model when it comes to bringing these children over, she added. Nielsen said Monday that the children have often represented a well-publicized get-out-of-jail-free card that the Trump administration stopped handing out with the adoption of a zero-tolerance policy two months ago. She also said America's low bar for establishing asylum seekers' credible fear of persecution or physical harm in their home countries. As a result, over the last seven years we've seen the number of individuals claiming asylum skyrocket, she said. And we've asked Congress to adjust the standard of proof to prevent well-coached applicants from uttering the magic words.